We're on board with Todd Souza, the defending race winner in the NASCAR Camping World Series West event at Miller Motorsports Park. He's about to take us on a lap around this big 3.06 mile road course. Okay, here we go. It, uh, this is uh, the longest and highest speed straightaway that this series runs um, throughout the year. Just crossing the start finish line here. Um, typically you're in uh, fourth gear here. You try to drive in as deep as you can here. Um, staying to the right if possible unless you're trying to block your line. We usually drive in somewhere around the four four marker here before we uh, start braking and downshifting sometimes three and a half. Kind of keep the car out to the right here if you can. You want to get it down to uh, second gear through this corner. Keeping it wide, reaching around the corner, around the apex, try to get to the bottom about here. At that point you're drifting back to the outside, right up to the rumble strips and quick back to the left here. To the outside of this corner, reaching back around this corner, getting back to the inside, getting to the inside about here, letting it drift back to the outside. You got a quick uh, left hander here, you got to get back to the right. This turn's deceiving. It don't want to suck you off the track if you don't uh, get back to the inside and get right to the edge here. As you get here, you want to let it drift back out. As you're in third gear, full, full speed through here, you're not lifting. You're grabbing fourth gear about right here. And driving it in here pretty deep. You get your one of the sharpest corners on the course right here. The next two corners are keep it to the right. Don't want to get off into the rumble strips here. They're really big and, and tall. Get back to the inside here. Let it drift up to the edge here. And then back to the left. Keep it back to the left here. You got your second uh, tightest corner on the course here. And this one typically you want to keep, keep it wide on entry unless you need to block your line. And you want to run the inside groove all the way through here. Out here, you're going to let it drift back out to the left. Run through your gears here, you're getting up into uh, the third gear through here. And you're not lifting a whole lot through here. Letting the throttle breathe a little bit right through here. You make a real high speed right hand corner. You reach around, get to the inside about here. And let it drift a little bit to the left, but you got to make sure you don't get too far and keep it out there too long back to the right so you can make this uh, tight section of the course back to the left, little S's that you're going through, back to the right here, and then back to the inside here, and you're going to let it drift from here all the way out to the edge, and flip these rumble strips right here. You should do this, you're going to drive it in pretty hard here, you got a pretty, pretty fast left hand corner, you get to the inside, let it drift back to the edge of the track here through your gears, um, back up to third through here, uh, pretty pretty uh, fast corner here, you, you come flat tracking through here a lot, of, you do a lot of sliding through this corner, you can cut it, you can carry a lot of speed, you got a lot of room off to the right to let it drift here as you're coming off, if you go over the rumble strips it's real forgiving there. This one you got to protect pretty much the inside corner again. Get about this point, you're gonna let it drift back to the left and then protect the inside corner on your left hander here. You want to make sure you get a good run coming off this corner because if not, you're gonna get drafted and passed uh, down this front straight away from here. You're gonna let it drift back to the rumble strips and try to keep your momentum up. About this point, you're about back into fourth gear, about right here. 